I take it out and I basically let it bite my arm. Um, and the reason I do that is for shock value to bring awareness for snake bite. Um, nobody wants to see me just inject a lethal dose. That's boring. So what I what I did is I intentionally got bit to prove a point and film it um, to represent the people that die from snake bite. I wasn't looking to be a YouTube star or anything like that. Or you know, it's all about the science for me, hundred percent. It's nine thirty. The bites were at eight o'clock. Black mamba and type in. No antivenom used. No money spent. And that's the point. So in this study, what we're really excited about are, are two things. First, we might have a working cocktail that could be developed in a few years, but also it shows what the human immune system can do. Uh, we have antibodies um, produced in a human that might save other humans moving forwards in terms of a universal uh, antivenom. So Tim uh, basically created a procedure that allowed broad recognition that uh, many, many different toxins are moving forward. Um, and that recognition allowed him to be protected from snake bites. And what we're hoping to do is take that same protection, but not have to have everyone undergo 18 years of immunization and snake bites, ultimately, and isolate and identify the best antibodies, or we can combine with small molecules to create an antivenom um, from um, Tim's amazing blood. It's, it's nice to be part of something that changes medical history, herpetology, immunology, and science. I like them. Mm -hmm.